Research shows that 72% of consumers say positive testimonials and reviews increase their trust in a business. 95% says it reviews influence their online purchasing decision. And of course, 63% of customers say that they are more likely to purchase from a site if it has product reviews. Let me show you how we can enable video reviews on our website. If you want to support me to help me keep creating free content, follow my affiliate link that is wp.discount slash video review. And this also in the comments of this video and in the description. So thanks a lot. Press enter. And then we are at the website of WP Pool, a company I have already reviewed from some other plugins and they were Excellent. So for this tutorial, we're going to use Easy Video Reviews, which is a really great plugin as you will see. So we're going to click on Get Started Now to see what the difference is between the free version and the paid version. So what we see over here are three different plans, but they also have a free plan. Now let me show you the biggest difference. The basic version and pro and growth has everything to do with the amount of videos we can record and store. 100, 250 and 500 videos, also up to five minutes and here up to 10 minutes reviews. All these videos are being stored in the cloud, which is very important or else you cannot ever store 100 video reviews on your own hosting company. Trust me, you don't because it gets really big really fast. I am first going to show you the free version and then I'm going to show you the pro version of this plugin. Log into your WordPress website. If you're still using WP Admin, no, nope, mm, no. that's not a very safe way. So please watch this security tutorial because you don't want to get hacked. I can even use this one to log in. So to get the free version, you go to plugins, add new plugin. Then we type in here, easy video review. And then we want this one, WP pool testimonial plugin for WordPress. Press install now. And then we press on activate. Then we can help WP pool by getting some statistics from our usage information, like these things. You can press allow or no thanks, whatever you want. Doesn't really matter for the functionality. And then we press on get started. Here we can choose the duration of our video reviews, the maximum amount. Do you want it to be 60 seconds or 120? If you want it to be longer, then we need to upgrade. We're gonna do that in just a second. So let's say I just only want my reviews to be 60 seconds because I have very simple products, but maybe you have a very complicated services or products, then you want to have longer reviews. In our case, just use 120 seconds. Then you can choose to publish video automatically. I would not advise you to do so because you always want to check the video review before it gets pushed on your website because you never know if someone wants to prank you or it's a very negative review. So we don't want to publish videos automatically. Then you can allow manual upload if we upgrade to the pro version. If you know your clients personally and you ask them, can you record for me a video testimonial and upload it to the website, then most people will just use their camera phone, record it, and then they go to the website and try to add it in. That way the manual upload can be very useful. Press next. And we also want to enable text reviews. Press next. Congratulations. Copy this short code and place it anywhere to collect reviews. Now that's pretty awesome. Just press this button and now our short code has been copied to our clipboard. Now, because we are installing this on a WooCommerce website, the recommend option is to enable this one. Replaces default WooCommerce review tab and use easy video reviews for WooCommerce. That's an excellent feature. We're gonna press done. All right, then we see all these kind of things. Well, then we press skip because I'm gonna walk you through all the settings and all the options within this plugin. The first thing we see over here are the reviews where we are right now. And we can see that you can categorize and organize your video reviews in different kind of folders. We're gonna create a new folder and we're gonna call it to a category of my products on this website, which are proteins. Press on create. And now we have a new folder over there. Why proteins? Well, 
We're going to use this website. It's from a tutorial I created some time ago. It's a complete web shop tutorial in Divi and WordPress. And we're going to show you how to add the video testimonials to this website. And for now we have, for example, protein shakes, but we also have diet shakes and I don't know, all these things. So I'm going to add in protein shakes as a folder. But if you have more, you can of course enter in more of your client services, for example, uh, clean hacked website testimonials because I also have that service on my website. And then we have different kind of folders you can create. Well, you get the point. Now, there are no reviews to show yet, but we have the short code over here to copy the short code. Again, you can copy it and paste it anywhere on your site. Just one important step before we copy the short code, make sure to select the right folder where you want to save these reviews from this short code. Very important and it makes your life a lot more easier in organizing all your reviews. Now for this tutorial, I want to place my video review button on this product page. You can place, of course, your buttons anywhere also on new pages and you mail them with the link to that new page. It all works great. So let's add it in over there. Press on this plus icon. Gonna use a text module or a code module, whatever you want, and then we're gonna paste in over there the short code provided by the plugin. And then we can see leave a review. That's great, we can also tweak it a little bit, change the text to leave a video review. If you want to change also the background color, you can do it this way, just do it in here so that you can change directly the short code. And now the button is green and it fits way better in our design with green buttons, as you can see. You can change the folder designated and you can change the size of this button, for example, like 15 and it will become smaller. So let's save it. And now you can see on the front end that we have this beautiful button. Now what happens when I click on this button, leave a video review. So when I click on this button over here, this is what we see. We get a pop-up which says, hello, how would you like to review? Record a video or write a review? You will be able to check your review before sending. Great. Now, if I press on write review, of course, we can just type a review. And you can put in your name over there and press on finish. And now the review has been submitted to our website, done. But if I click on leave a video review and I'm going to record a video, then you can see that my browser want to access my camera and microphone. So I just need to select the camera I'm using, in this case the Camlink 4K, and my microphone over there, and I can press allow and it starts using my camera. And then you see this, my camera in there and is recording my voice as I speak. And we can change the microphone settings over here, microphone one and two, because I have to, and all the cameras I can choose from. I think I would turn this off when creating this as my browser already asks for permission to use the right camera and the right microphone. And then the last option in here is how many seconds before we start recording. So I think I'm gonna put this on two seconds. Why? I'm gonna show you when I press start recording, two, one, start. And here we are now, we can create a beautiful testimonial about this amazing product. I am so happy with it. <laughs> and then we can press stop recording once we're done. Now people can actually review it. So they can press on this button. And then a customer can press on submit review or record it again. Now I'm gonna submit it. And now it will be uploaded to my WordPress website. Thanks for your review. It has been successfully submitted, done. All right, excellent. If we now go back to our backend and I refresh this page, then you can see all these different kind of reviews we have just created. As you can see, the free plan only allows five reviews. What do visitors actually see when you have five reviews inside of your plugin? If they now try to click on this button, you can see record a video. You can submit reviews as the website owner to upgrade their plan. Hmm, that's not nice. So you should definitely remove it, the short code from your website if you're using the free plan and you have five reviews. Let's go to galleries over there. Here we can create a new gallery. So press on create new gallery and then we need to add some reviews. Click on it. Then we can select the reviews that we want to put inside of our gallery. In our case, I just want all of them. So I'm gonna select one and press select all, and I'm gonna add to gallery. Or you can just go into the folder and add them 
to your gallery. Now, if you don't see all your reviews in here, it might be because the reviews have not been published yet. So then you press on cancel, you go over here to reviews, and then you can see over here that all these reviews has not been published of the little icon over here it is locked as you can see so i'm gonna select these ones and then i'm gonna choose the action publish selected there we go and if i now go to my gallery over here and i press create new gallery add reviews there we have all the reviews published on my website and if you select on video you only see those or the text only those which selected five so i'm going to press add to gallery now this is the gallery preview as you can see we, there are only two of them at the same time and until a max of five because i have the free plan now let's give the gallery a name protein reviews and here you can change the styles if you go to the text one you can see the styles change better styles two and style three Let's go with style three. I like that one the most. Then you can also go to display options in here and we can use it as a grid like this. And then we can change the reviews to show per page of the grid. Usually I would go, for example, with five because when, a, when you're using a grid, uh, maybe six is even better. And then we can show the pagination or just delete them. If you use three, for example, then the pagination is also useful then you can hide the date of it and show video player controls i actually do like to have some video controls as it tends to make people click on the video but for reviews i prefer to have the carousel if you go to the carousel you can see that now it's sliding on our website and this looks absolutely phenomenal so what can you change in here and then here we can change the columns so for example now we have three one two three and we can also change it to two or maybe four like this but let's keep it on three that's fine and we can also change the responsiveness so for tablets you can have two columns and for mobile just one column for example let's use three on desktop then we can also hide these little dots over here so that you don't see the dots you can also show the navigation this one uh, i do like this on this one and you can also have the scroll bar well i would suggest you use one of them so or the pagination or the arrows but i don't like the arrows in combination with these arrows or just the scroll bar it's completely up to you let's use only the pagination then we have the auto scroll duration in milliseconds two and a half seconds let's change it to three seconds and you can also hide the date if you want to i like the date and you can show the video player controls please put them on because people tend to click more when they see a play button all right let's go to advanced options you can also add a additional css class to style it even further with some css now let's save this gallery and then it is created well done copy the short code anywhere on your website press done and then we can see over here we have the protein reviews and we can copy the short code and over here we can customize the gallery again and then we are back in here great let's press update now let's put this on our website then i'm just going to add in the gallery over here in my page i'm just going to paste in the short code inside of my code module from divi and we can see on our page this video slider sliding throughout my reviews and if i click on this one it will pop up in a new window and i can press play and see what this guy is actually saying about my product so that's uh, pretty amazing and i really like the way it shows on my website so this video gallery plugin is actually really great and i think it will really bump up the conversions of this specific web shop really great then we have a few more options to see if you go to integrations in here we can we can integrate it with woocommerce and easy digital downloads to plugins but you need for that the pro version so hold on i'm going to demonstrate you that in just a second 
if we go to settings in here, we can configure a few things of this plugin. Here we can make sure that visitors can only submit video reviews, for example, or just text reviews. But we want to have both of them and we want to make it optional so they can choose what they want. If we go to recorder settings in here, we can change the duration for 60 seconds max, 120 seconds or 180 seconds, but then you need a premium license. I also think that with simple products, a 30 seconds record duration should even be better. However, the more complicated and more expensive your product is, the more time you want to give them to send in a longer video review. If you want to publish the video automatically, we also need the premium version, also with manual update, but you can also show a publish policy. We're gonna enable this one in utility, so hold on. Then we go to extra data collection. Now, this is a really great feature, but only available in the pro version. Hold on a second, I'm gonna show you, this is really great. Let's go to utility. Here we can edit or translate widget labels. Every label used inside of the plugin, you can change it over here. And this is a feature that's really great. If you have another native language on your website, you can just change the buttons to another language. If you, of course, want to change them to different languages, then you need, of course, your translation plugin to do it for you. But here you can change every single label manually inside of the plugin, very useful. You also have an export import setting over here, so you can import them and export them. If you're deploying a lot of websites, it could be useful. If you've enabled the policy, it is over there and you can type your publishing policy of the videos. Something like this that people have to agree with all the terms you put inside of your policy. Press save changes and then you can go over here to profile and plan. You can see over here that we have the current plan is free. We have only five videos per year and 15 text per year also. And of course the video duration. If you're happy with this plugin and you want to upgrade to a pro plan, you can help me out. You won't pay anything more, but I get a small commission and I'm very happy with that. Go to wp.discount slash video review or click on the link in the comments. It's also there. Press enter. And then we can go over here to pricing. And as you can see it, there is a launch with limited time deals on this package. So this is actually a great time to buy it. We save 40% with this limited time deal. And that's absolutely great. So you can select the basic plan, the pro plan or the growth plan. I'm gonna go with the pro plan for $120 a year. I can save up to 250 video reviews and we have unlimited text reviews, unlimited websites, cloud storage, custom fields, WooCommerce integration, Elementor widgets, everything we need. So I'm gonna press on buy now and then I just fill in all my information, pay with credit card and press pay and subscribe. Once you have paid, you can go to profile info in here and press on sign in. Fill in the details we've just created and press sign in. Now you can see over here that we've connected successfully. Our current plan is now the pro plan. If you go to reviews, now you see that I have already have six reviews inside of my WordPress website and we can create even more. If you want to create certain reviews about certain topics, I really advise you to use the create new folder, put them in over there, product reviews, for example, press create, and another folder should be, for example, company reviews and like this. And then we can copy the short code to place them all inside of the different kind of folders. That will save you a lot of time in creating galleries. And now in the pro version, I can also go to integrations and you can see that we can enable WooCommerce reviews on the single product page settings. Now, if you're using the standard WooCommerce functions, so not with Divi or with Elementor, you can add the video reviews tab inside of it and you can choose to hide the default WooCommerce review tab on your product pages. And then they can show the review button on the product pages uh, and you can customize it when clicking on here. So here you can change the font size, the border color, the text color. That is absolutely amazing inside of your WooCommerce web shop. Really great, and I can do this right now. And here you can also show your WooCommerce review gallery on product pages automatically, but I would always suggest you use your shortcode as you can place it 
anywhere you want within your website. Then after order settings, this is a very powerful feature. Ask for a review when the order is marked complete. However, I'm not sure if you want to enable this because if you enable this, you get reviews like, well, the process went very good. I didn't have received the product yet, but I think it looks good. Those are reviews that are worthless. You don't want them. What you want to do is send them a, a link to the review module after seven or 10 days so they can use your product test it out, make a review of it and send it to you in change for a discount code, for example, because that works. Why would I review your product if I'm not a product ambassador and I'm not a super fan yet? You have to lure me in with some discount codes in change for the review. Also with easy digital downloads, if you have this plugin enabled, we can ask for review when the order is marked complete or send an email after order placement. I think the email is even better, but if you can delay it with three, four, five days, that would even be better to get more valuable reviews on your website. Also with the pro plan, we can now go to settings and we can change the recorder settings to the duration of five minutes. And if you want to have 10 minutes, you have to upgrade to another plan, but five minutes is already pretty long. Then we can also publish our videos automatically and allow manual upload. I'm going to demonstrate you this in just a second. If you go to extra data collection, now we can also collect extra data after review using form. So when somebody submits a video, then they will see another form and we can add some fields to it. Now this is where it starts really to get interesting because if we add another field, we can for example enter your name. So name name and then the placeholder we can add something like name or we can just keep it like this and then the default value is just default and you can make it mandatory let's add in another field if you go to field type you can add in a lot of different kind of fields for example the month the week the phone number the time the email uh, but what's more important is for example the select one so you can add in uh, field name should be product and then the field label what product did you review then there's no placeholder in here because we go to options and we're going to add options for example protein shake strawberry and the value we're going to give it is strawberry and we're going to add in another option protein shake banana and the value should be banana and then we can create as many fields if we, as we want to put in there when they have submitted their review. And this can be used to place in the video or in the gallery. It's really great. Press save changes now. And let me show you how it works on a mobile phone. As you can see on my website, I have the green button, leave a review. When I click on this button, again, do you want to record a video or do you want to create a text review? I want to record a video and we can make it up to five minutes, of course. So press on record a video and then you can press over here to record your video. And then it just starts recording and I can talk anything about this beautiful product we're going to review. And then I press stop over here. And then you can see two buttons over here in the corner. This one says do it again. And this one says use it. So I'm gonna press use this video. And it's in Dutch because my phone is Dutch. And then you can see this, I can press record again or submit review. I'm gonna submit it. And then comes the form, which we can select our item and we can put in our name. So I put in my name and then I can select which product I was have reviewed. And I've just reviewed this one. And then we just press on finish over here. Thanks for your review. It has been submitted to our website. And then when I now refresh my reviews, I have them over here at the product reviews. I've just created this with my mobile phone. And there it is. You can also go into your reviews and click on it, open them. And if you click on this share button, you can share this video with social media platforms. I don't think it's called Twitter anymore. Or you can just copy the link and put it out there. But I won't advise you to do so because then you send them to a blank page. And what you want to have is you want to maybe save this video as, click on it, and then you can save it to your system and then you can put it somewhere else or you put only this 
review on a page and then you share that page with your followers. I would never just only put out a video. If I look at this video on my computer, you can see that it's a WebM file over there. So that's really small. It's only two MBs, which is excellent. If I go to the details, I can see that this frame width and height is actually in 4K, but the kilobits per second is extremely low and also there's only mono sound. There's no problem for the reviews, but if you want to use them in professional media and use them within some 4K videos, then you will see that there is a very big quality difference in when, when I'm recording straight to my video or when I'm recording via the plugin. And that's logical because when I record 4K video for you guys and I put it on my hard disk, it's already around 500 MB up to one gigabyte for just a few minutes. So that's logical. You cannot host all of that data inside of the cloud. And it would also be very strange to do so because it's not necessary. But if you want to use these videos in professional media, then you have to know that the quality of this is just a little bit blurry, as you can see. Especially when I'm walking down the stairs in here, you can see that it's just a little bit blurry and that's no problem for the purpose that it's created for but that makes it impossible to use it on professional videos but again i highly doubt if you want to use these kind of videos inside of your professional videos it's just perfect for your website and that's exactly what it is made for if you want to learn how to create amazing websites like the one we're using in here subscribe to my channel and check out these videos and I will glad to help you step by step and guide you through the process.